So if you're relatively savvy with the internet and know what all the cool kids are into nowadays, you've more than likely heard about SCPs. You know, those random videos that somehow creep into your recommendations or when you've gone a bit too deep into the depths of YouTube. Or maybe you've watched too much Markiplier. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier. Oh, okay, here there! Get up! Get up, you bitch! Oh, did it nibble on your giblets? One way or another, you're here watching this video now, so you've got to have some kind of notion of what SCP is. It's all that weird and creepy stuff. But where did it start? And why? Well, I'm here to give you a rundown of just what brought SCPs to life. Let's take a journey all the way back into 2007, when the modern internet was just getting into its running stride and I can as cheeseburger memes were all over the place like a crazy cat lady's wet dream. 4chan isn't always known for its shining track record, but we do have to thank it for allowing this community of SCPs to be introduced to the internet. Originally, the article for SCP-173 was posted on the ex-paranormal board, causing many of the creepypasta board to get, well, on board with the idea of having similar creepypasta stories along with it. Needless to say, the thread was pretty popular and stuck around for a few days, whereupon several other threw their hat into the ring at trying to create some of their own SCPs, which became some of the first SCP entries. In addition, the first round of creators known as Dr. Gears, A Fat Ghost, Kane Pathos Crow, Fritz Willy, and P. Han were at the forefront, contributing to this new and fresh idea. Despite the forums growing with the idea of embracing this new SCP community, the writers weren't exactly pleased with the layout of a forum for their SCP articles and decided to pack up and move on out to their own wiki. On January 19, 2008, the SCP series was created on the Edit This Wiki Farm, a rough version of what we've ended up with and know as a wiki today. Over the course of the next few months, hundreds of submissions and articles were created, all adding to the community that had sprung up from 4chan's X-Board. Slowly but surely, it was taking stronger form, but the edit this community wasn't as strong or communicative as it could be due to the lack of a proper messaging system or communicating system on the wiki. Nonetheless, anonymous users continued to communicate through B and X on 4chan as the SCP articles continued to pop up. However, word trickled down that the Edit This Wiki wouldn't be a stable place to keep all the SCP articles due to the site's capital growing dangerously low. Soon enough, they knew their site could be up for deletion. Finding an alternative, Fritz Willy decided to set up the wiki on Wikidot and it went up on July 19th, 2008. By July 25th, 2008, the Wikidot wiki was ready to go live. This message was the first news update for the wiki, posted by the administrator as he opened up the wiki for the first time. The forum is up, page rating is available, the website is going live today, all permissions are open, welcome. The original author of SCP-173 and arguably SCPs as a whole remained relatively elusive since the very first posting in the X board, only having popped up again not even a week after the Wikidot was up and running. The thread, which is still available today, was started by Modo42, to which he had to say, When I posted it to 4chan's X, I had not expected it to be remembered by anyone more than a week later but had intended to make similar documents on about a weekly basis. Then I lost internet access for a week and a half and other interests pushed the project out of my mind. So there we have it, the origin of the SCP wiki and how it became its own wiki dot in a very brief and concise summary. If you're interested in more details of the site's history and for the events that came after setting up the wiki dot, go ahead and check out the history of the universe link in the description that does a much better job than I ever could at giving detailed information. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to be doing another SCP history video within the future. So if you'd like to see more like this video, go ahead and give this video a like, and let me know in the comments just what you'd enjoy to see. This has been Gmodon, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.